Hello, and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we are solving a fun little tree Google question. 2265, count nodes equal to average of subtree. Given the root of a binary tree, return the number of nodes where the value of the node is equal to the average of the values in its subtree. Note, the average of n elements is the sum of the n elements divided by n and rounded down to the nearest integer. And a subtree of a root is a tree consisting of the root node and all of its descendants. Let's look at an example and see how to do this. So we're given this tree 485016. So the nodes in blue are the nodes where um, we want to count them, but let's see why each one is counted. So let's start at the leaf nodes. So we know that the leaf nodes, they're what, how many, uh, what's the value of their children, right? Obviously this null, uh, this left child and the right child is null, so we can just count them as zero. So that means that the average here is zero plus zero plus zero, right? We can just disregard those. And then we, there's actually nothing to do here because at each of the leaves, it's the average is this itself because we contain the root, right? And there's obviously one element here. So zero divided by one is just zero. So in this case, zero is its own, um, uh, we count zero. And this is the same thing for all uh, leaf nodes. So all of the leaf nodes will be counted. Now the interesting part is what happens when we go to the next level in the tree. So the average of six in all of its subtrees is going to be six. So we're gonna pass that information up to the parent now we can't actually just pass the average to the parent because trying to compute an average by adding some values to it is not mathematically correct. So what we need to do is actually pass up what the current sum is of that you know, subtree and how many nodes there are in it. So there are six, the sum is six, and there's one here. Eight will receive from the left side that there is a sum of zero and one element and from the right side, it will receive a sum of one, and there's one node here. So at the five, what can we do? We can say, okay, well, what is the sum of all of the, the tree here? So it's gonna be five, oops. It's going to be five plus six. Obviously there is nothing on the other side, and this is going to equal to 11. We integer divide by two because it's rounded down. So this is actually going to be what? 5.5, but that rounds down to five. So that means that this one is also counted because five equals to the node here. So then when we pass to four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up all the values now. So four will receive that the total sum so far in the subtree is 11, and there's two nodes. Whoops, two nodes, two nodes. Okay, let's do the other side. So eight receives this, so let's do the computation here. So the sum here is eight, plus zero plus one, which is nine. And we want to divide, why is that doing that? We want to divide it by what? How many nodes are there in this tree? There's three here, right? So this is three. Obviously this three doesn't equal eight, so that's why we don't count eight. So what we're gonna pass up to the parent is what is the current sum so far? So the sum is nine, so it's gonna receive nine from here and how many nodes are in this tree? There are three nodes in this tree. Why is it? Okay, there's three nodes. So now what we wanna do here is at four, we need to do the computation again. So the value is four plus 11 plus nine, and how many nodes are there? Well, we have our value here, which is one. We have three from this side, so four plus six. So we divide by six. So this total up here is going to be 24, 24 integer divided by six is just four, which is our element here. So we can count this one as well. So we can see that we counted four, we counted five, six, one, and zero. So our answer here is five. So that's what we wanna do. This question is a relatively straightforward DFS. We start from the root node, we go all the way down to the leaves, we count the leaves, and at each iteration, when we end our recursion and we wanna bubble up to the parent, we want to return the sum of everything in that subtree and how many nodes we've seen. And then 
once we get to the parent, we'll calculate the average by adding together the sum from the left side and the right side, divide by the current node, which is there's only a count of one plus whatever the count of the left side and the right side is, calculate the average. If that average happens to be the value of our current node, then we add to our kind of result here. Otherwise, we'll just bubble up and add the sum and the count. So that is what we do uh, for the question, just a relatively straightforward uh, DFS and we just need to do a little bit of math at each step, but nothing really hard. So I will see you in the code editor. Let's type this up. Okay, we are in the code editor. Let's type this up. First thing we want to do is a super simple check. If our root exists, obviously, if we're not given uh, any tree, then we just return zero. So we're going to say if not root, uh, we want to just return zero simple. Okay, let's now define a variable to keep track of our average count. Um, so we're going to say self dot average count is going to be oops, is going to equal zero. Now what we want to do is, like we said, this is a DFS problem, we want to actually call the DFS function, which will, in its logic, update this average count. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say that we're going to call self dot DFS on the root. And once that finishes, we just want to return self dot average count. Obviously, now we need to actually define the DFS function. So let us do that now. So we're going to say def DFS, it's going to take self and it's going to take a node. Now what we want to do is we want to check a few cases. If our node is empty, then we just want to return zero for the count of the total nodes and also the sum, right? So we're going to say if not node, then we simply want to return a tuple zero zero. So the first item in our tuple, the first index is actually going to represent the count of that subtree. And the second item will represent the number of elements in it. So that is the case if it's an empty node, if it's a leaf node, we can kind of just save ourselves um, one step of iteration, and we can actually just uh, increment our count directly. So we're going to say if not node.left and not node.right. So in the case that our current node is actually a leaf node, remember all of the leaves will be by definition um, counted. So we're going to say self.average count um, plus equals to one. And then at this point, we want to just return the value of the, the node and a count of one, because obviously, if it's a leaf node, it doesn't have any children. So there's only one element in the subtree, that leaf node. Okay, so those are our kind of like two preliminary steps. Now what we want to do is actually handle the actual recursion. So we're going to say the left sum, uh, and the left count <coughs> is going to be equal to calling our DFS function on node.left. And we're going to do the same thing for the right side. So we're going to say right sum, um, right count is equal to self dot DFS node dot right. Okay, now we need to actually calculate our average. <clears throat> so how are we going to do this? So the current average is going to equal to remember when we calculate an average, it is the kind of numbers that we want to average divided by the total number uh, we have. So we're going to say the left sum plus the right sum um, plus whatever node dot value is. Uh, integer divide, remember, because things are rounded down to the nearest integer, that's why we're using integer division here. Uh, and it's going to be left count plus right count plus uh, what one, right, because we're counting the current node. Okay, <clears throat> now we need to check if the current average actually equals to the value of our node, because in this case, we actually need to count um, that again, for our average count here. So um, now that we've done that, we're going to say if the current average actually equals to no dot val, whoops, uh, no dot val, we want to say self dot average count, we want to increment that by one. The last thing that we want to do is simply to return the new sum of our subtree and the number of nodes in it. So this is pretty simple. Remember that it's going to be the left sum plus the right sum um, plus whatever node.val is. So basically the numerator of our average and the count is going to be the denominator of our average, which is um, left count plus right count plus one for the current node. And that is all we need to do. This is the DFS function. We just call it here. It will update our um, average count and then we can simply return the average count. So I'll just run this, make sure I didn't make any bugs. Renode. Okay, that's weird. 
which should be tree node. Uh, okay, let's run that and we are good to go. So let us submit this and we will see that it is accepted. Perfect. What is the time and space complexity here? Uh, how do I get rid of this? Okay, so time and space complexity. So the time complexity, this is just a standard um, post order traversal of a binary tree. Basically, we just visit every single node once and process it. Because of that, the time complexity is just big O of n. What is the actual space complexity here? Oops, this is time and space. So space complexity is going to be big O of n. And the reason that it's big O of n is even though we're not actually using any extra data structures here, because we have a recursion, we have to count the stack frames. And in the worst case, it's going to be big O of n um, stack frames that we'll have to have. So, but we can make this uh, note of this and tell our interviewer. So we'll say big O of n if counting, oops, counting <coughs> recursive stack frames. Otherwise, it's just big O of one. So this is just a good practice to let them know that, okay, I do know that recursion does actually take space. Um, if we want to count it, it's big O of n. If we don't want to count it, it's big O of 1. Cool. So that is how you solve this problem. Count nodes equal to average of subtree. Again, pretty straightforward DFS problem. You will find this template like repeated so many times through leak code. So if you've done a few of these like I have, it's really easy to just get the logic. It's the same template over and over again. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps the channel grow. Why not drop a subscription as well? Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.